Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and welcome back to <laughs> another DUJ2 Reacts. So this is actually going to be a reaction slash review of this trailer. Um, this series also is known as Will I Less Than 3 It? And I'm going to tell you right now, I will, but we're going to get into it. Anyway, um, this is about a movie or a, a book, I guess, that is being made into a movie um, known as Ready Player One. So before I start, let me just say this huge spoiler warnings. I have read this book multiple times. I have listened to the audiobook of this book uh, multiple times as well. I have I love this book. Uh, I think this book is one of the best books that I have read in a very long time and integrates so many things from my childhood that it just it, it blows me away. It's it's absolutely amazing. Um, plus the fact that I <laughs> I work so much listen, listening to Rush uh, albums. So, yeah. So let me just say that. So I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about a lot of things about the book in this in this video. Uh, and we're going to go through the whole thing. So I've seen the trailer one time, okay? And the only reason why I saw it was because I saw it in my feed. And I was like, wait, I didn't know this movie was even being developed actually yet. I mean, I, I kind of lost track on their whole how they were developing this book and everything uh, into the movie, you know? The only thing that I knew that I heard last was that Steven Spielberg had been, had signed up to make this movie. Uh, and this was a couple of, a while back actually. <clears throat> and he had also said that none of his movies were going to be represented in this movie. Now, I don't know if that was, if that's true or not, or wasn't true or not, but apparently the movies, well, watch for yourself. In 2045, there's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the Oasis. So this was a trailer that was just released at Comic Con. Um, I wish I could have been there. I was born in 2025. But I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s. Like all my heroes. That, that line kind of disturbs me a little Ohio. bit. All my heroes. In 2045, it's still ranked the fastest growing city on Earth. But it sure doesn't That's seem like it when you live in the States. You know what? I'm going to be quiet. They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. Except the Oasis. the only place that feels like I mean anything. Mm. A world where the limits of reality are your own Guess imagination. Mm. Sorry. That 101 as well kind of bugs me a little bit. And the crystal key. All right. So, um, okay. So uh, we're going to go through it a little bit more, more in depth here. Um, 
but I'm going to say right now, this is from just watching this. My initial reaction is, oh, my goodness, I cannot believe they're going that massive. Now, if you've read the book, if you know what the story is, I mean, you know that the way that Ernest Klein describes things, um, it, it's just it's absolutely incredible. So, again, guys, spoiler warnings. I'm going to start talking about the book right now. So, as we know, it is about it's all about the. Um, uh, what's it called? It's all about the Easter egg, right? It's all about the Easter egg. It's all about, you know, Wade finding the egg or, or just going through the whole thing. It's also what I'm kind of curious about is the fact that we don't really have Anorak's Invitational there. I kind of thought that that would be what our first trailer would have been like, you know, the invitation, you know, him just, you know, saying the whole thing. And they could have made a whole, I actually thought that's what the first trailer we ever, we were, that we were ever going to see of this movie was going to be about. We were going to be hearing Anorax Invitational. He was going to, you know, be going through the whole thing. Um, and maybe we could have seen, you know, we could have seen Wade, you know, in the stacks and everything like that. Um, so, but the fact that they just gave us so much. Now, the whole race thing is kind of curious to me because it kind of feels like to me like they're going to make this different. They're going to and and it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, as we know, Ready Player One is heavily influenced by Japanese culture. It's got so much of that in it. So many uh, different things, so many different games, which makes sense. And of course, it's game based. Uh, Ready Player One is very much based on all the games. <coughs> Because we know um, that's what it was built on. You know, that's what it was built on uh, when we know about, you know, all the different games that there were in the game and, you know, the, the whole Pac-Man thing and everything else. Like when him, there's so many, so many references to games early in 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 the um uh in, in the whole thing you know the the whole it's a game it's basically a game so the fact that seeing here it's not really game based as much as it's movie based so let's let's go through it again and i'm going to kind of point out things that i don't like there's nowhere left to go okay so that kind of makes sense fine you, he, he's got the oasis you know he's got the headgear he's got the haptic gloves i get that um, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, so it really feels very Matrixy to me in that sense, but you know, it kind of makes sense. So, um, all right, so let's go through this step by step here. All right, that's fine. But I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s. Steven Spielberg. Oh man, yeah. Like awesome. all my heroes. Okay, that all my heroes. Okay, so I get that. I get him saying that about all my heroes because, as we know in the book, he does reference you know uh, different music musicians. Oh, music culture too is all over, also very heavy in the game. Uh, all the game creators and everything like that. So I can understand that, except it kind of makes it feel like it. You know, we okay. We're kind of skipping over the fact that why the '80s culture came back. You know, so. Th that's something about I that. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. All right, he's still in Columbus, Ohio. That's fine. We see the stacks, which is great. It looks fine. They look fine. Earth. That but looks good. Sure this is disturbing. Like <laughs> but whatever. Okay, there's his. They okay, there's his. His. Um, millions. Okay, there's his. Uh, his. Oh, that's just weird, man. Okay. Anyway, there's his. Uh, his little hideout. You know. So I. I make sense of that. The whole missing millions thing. Well, that was more of a reference towards. Um, is it Shoto? No. Shoto is the younger brother, isn't it? See, I forget. But anyway. Um, yeah. So that's more of a reference to that in Japan in the Japanese culture. Not really. You know, the fact that everyone went to hiding into the oasis. But whatever. You know, I understand that. This thing. Okay, so that thing is kind of interesting to me. It's actually scanning his facial, and I understand that because, um, you know, in the book, it constantly references on how uh, there is, like, facial recognition software and facial re recognition, you know, in different things. And to me, I never really understood how that was possible if you just had just the headgear, you know, just like the, the goggles uh, with the headphones that went going. So I never really understood how could the, that system scan your face if you didn't have something like this. So that was actually, at we first I was anywhere. like, wait, that wasn't in the book, but it makes There's sense, no you know. Left to go. I'm guessing he's no strapping way. himself on. The Except 101, the, the 101 is really interesting. I don't, I don't understand where the 101 came from. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. 
that's interesting. Okay, so this looks like it's a distractive glow. Because it looks like everyone's dancing, right? Let me see. Like here. All right, there. Um, so it looks like everyone's dancing, not fighting. So this is probably the distracted globe uh, when we know the great and powerful Og when he has a 70, whatever, 73rd, 78th birthday. I forget. Um, so that's what this looks like, which means that Artemis is somewhere there. <laughs> um, that's going to... Oh, man, I can't wait to see who they pick for Artemis. Okay. So there we go there. Okay. That's just weird. But see, okay, seeing something like this is where I'm thinking, I mean, Iron, Iron Giant. And that is that is Link, isn't it? I think that might be Link. Um, so when we're looking at the fact, so where would that be? Okay, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh. Is that, is that the orb of Aziovak in the back? That might be the orb. That might be the orb of Aziovac. And that might be Anorak's castle in the back. Okay, so that might be the orb of Aziovac. It might be. It looks like a force field of some sort. So this is what I mean by they are going they are going very um US based kind of and it makes sense. It makes sense because if they were to put all of these Japanese references, I really believe, I mean, so many of them went over my head and I had to look into them and figure them out. So I can understand how they are going to be doing more U.S. culture, more more movie culture, you know. So it makes sense that, for example, the giant robots at the end, the robots, they're not going to be game anime robots. You know, we're not going to see Mechagodzilla. We're not going to see uh, Sup uh, Supida Man. We're not going to see the Gundams. We're not going to see all that because so many people, yes, people would, would understand. And, you know, especially if you grew up in the 80s and you grew up in the 90s, you know, you would remember watching the animes and watching all those. So you'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Or, you know, um, I don't know. The, the the five lions that form one mega lion it just now it's it's I, i've lost it but you know what i'm talking about um so all of these that re references i think that you would get them from the cartoons and everything growing up but i can understand if they're going to be integrating more you know they're going to be integrating other giant robots they're going to be integrating giant robots that we can possibly know and I don't know. <coughs> I really don't know where else <coughs> they could pull, but I can I can understand why they would do that. All right, keep going. So just so far, it does seem like oh my goodness, so many different, so many different. How did they get the rights for all this stuff? Of course, we've got. Okay, all right. So that's just I don't even know what's going on there. That that looks like the battle, the final battle. Freddy Krueger gets one of those. That's that's Doom. That's the guy from Doom, isn't it? Yeah, in the back. Um, not sure what robot that is. See, for a second, I kind of thought that was gonna be H, but are they gonna are they gonna stray that far away? Okay, here we go. The race. So, of course, these are the Sixers. You know, they've they've got the six at the beginning of their number, so of course these are Sixers, and it totally makes sense because of that how they're going up. So it looks like it's a race of some sort, which I can understand if maybe it's going to be like time trials for uh, the Easter egg. That's Bigfoot. I remember Bigfoot. I don't even know what to say about that. What? It's, it's crazy. Okay, so that was obviously him. Unless there were more DeLoreans. There might be, there might be more DeLoreans in the whole thing. Okay, so, all right, and then finally we're gonna finish off with the with the key. All right, that's okay. So, okay, so there you do have an emboss. Uh, you do have an A. So it very much does seem like the crystal key is going to be, at least the crystal key for sure is gonna be, and the crystal gate is gonna be part of this. But again, the book is so big. The book is so. There's so much happening in the book that I really don't see how they could just make one movie of this okay um i can totally see them but at the same time we don't have any reference to the bronze or the jade key um you know it just oh man 
See, okay, we saw Wade. All right, we don't know if we don't know where Artemis is. We don't know where H is. <coughs> Wade slash Percival. Um, we don't know what Shoto and his brother are either. And if you guys know, if you if you guys love the book as much as I do, you know just how far, how long this can be. They can easily make two, three video, three movies. Easily make three movies out of this. Um, which it might be that they are going to do what's very classic right now in Hollywood where they make one movie and if it's a real big success, they continue with the rest of them. Um, and I hope that just from what we saw there, I, I kind of hope they're not going to try and make just one movie out of it because making just one movie out of it is going to be, I, they're going to have to cut too much out. There's going to have to be way too much that's going to be cut out of the entire of of just the world i mean you you go from having wade you know and level three penniless little character you know um finally uh being on uh uh being on what's it called um being on ludus you know and then finding the the tomb of horrors and his meeting artemis and his relationship with h and all that and then finding the you know fi get finally getting his name on the scoreboard and all that but just from seeing this, it doesn't feel like they're going to be going that route of the game. Or maybe they they might. They, I'm I'm sure they might have you know Anorak's Invitational there and the whole thing. And of course the Easter egg because the Easter egg is so much of the book, you know, and the story. Um, that I but I kind of feel just from seeing this that there may be a lot more that they're going they're going to go in a whole different in a different direction in that sense they're going to go in a direction of it does feel like they are going to definitely keep the music and that's awesome because that was a huge part of it but it kind of feels like to me like it's they're going to pull away a little bit from the game aspect of it you know because how fun is it going to be to see you know a 80s version game you know that's not going to be that much fun they're gonna it seems like they're going to try and really push much stronger more newer types of games but integrating more of the pop culture of the 80s which would be movies music games maybe not so much although i'm sure there's gonna have there's gonna have to be a big atari reference there because come on the easter egg and all that but anyway uh i'm gonna leave it there guys because i could ramble about this for hours on it i really could um I, I'm going to I'm going to dive into this even more. I'm going to dive into this into this even more. I'm going to see if I can't see any really big uh, any big um, Easter eggs in there. Anything that I can really find out like that. And I'm going to keep a huge eye on this. Anytime anything else is said about this movie. I'm going to talk about it because this is possibly. This is possibly my favorite game. I'm sorry. My favorite book. In a long time. And. I kind of feel like Armada by Ernest Klein. It was it was good, but it was too similar. So, and it kind of felt like they were in the same universe at times, but then they weren't. I don't know. It, it's that's a whole other topic for a different day. But anyway, um, I'm so excited, guys. I am so excited. I'm so thrilled about this. I had to do this. I had to make a video about this right away. So this is like my reaction because this is the second and third time I've seen this video, uh, and. I know just by seeing it, I'm missing so many things of it. And also my initial review of it. I really do want to get so much deeper into this. Um, I kind of wish we would have seen Sorrento as well. And I kind of wish we would have seen more of the key characters in the game. Just so we would have had a little bit of reference. Um, I really hope that's not H. I really hope that's not H. Anyway... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been... <sighs> well, I know I'm going to love it, guys. Will I less than three it? I will. I will no matter what. Unless they completely mess it up. Unless they really, really mess this up. Um, it's, it's. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it so much. And again, a movie like this... I hope that they put so much money behind it because a movie like this does have the potential of reviving so many movies from the 80s because that's obviously the area we're going to be in. We're going to be in the 80s. So, but just looking at there, I mean, there's how many years has it been? It's almost been 40 years, guys. At least it's going to be a good 30 years, you know, because of the gap and everything. But 
there's so many of these movies that I know are going to be, if this movie is a hit, if this movie is a big hit, there's so many movies, so many games, so much of that culture that is going to be thrust back into the spotlight that I hope that, I hope that the studio and I hope that they're giving it their best. I hope they're giving it their all because I want that key too. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much guys. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.